go turn off my air. It's loud. How'd it turn out? Hi, Melissa. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Meg. What am I doing right here? So, I've been fighting all day long trying to come up with a hack so that, um, you know, when you want to cut several thicknesses of frame and they need to all be exactly the same. So, I've been trying to come up with a jig and... So I just printed and laminated this graph paper and I'm gonna mess with it some more later. Hey, Mac. Hi, Kathleen. So I just wanted to show you some stuff I got and then um, I promised I'd show you some fun stuff with this Distress Frosted Crystal. Let me see, let me look where my camera is here. Let me get it where I know where it is. There we go need to be right here okay um i'll show you one thing i did but i want to experiment with something else so this was some pre-printed paper need more light huh that better one more that's why it gets so hot in here all these lights there we go and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got like a frosted texture on it. And um, I did that just with the frosted crystal. The trick is, is getting it on there without having it come off. Like, it, see how it's coming off? No bueno. So you don't want to get it too hot or it just turns into a matte mess. Hey, Pam. Did I see Willow? Hi, Willow. Grab the Versa Mark. So I got um, this today from Lisa, and um, I stamped it in just the uh, medieval blue because I wanted to see if I could frost it with this stuff. And then um, I got some fairy stamper stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna make a Halloween card. What a surprise! Hey everyone, coming in. Okay, so. Um, trick with this is to coat the whole thing in Versamark. Let me get, first of all, I'm going to get this sheet of, this is just a laminating folder, and then I'm going to get a sheet of regular paper, and I'm going to go ahead and preheat my embossing gun. So a little noise here. It's a pretty cool stamp. I'm, I want to play with some colors with it, but I just got it literally a couple of hours ago. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to swipe this on here. Smack it on. I want it on here pretty thick. And this is just Versamark ink. A nice good coat of it. I'm going to move this off of this piece of laminating sheet now, so I don't want that stuff sticking. And I'm just going to douse this thing in this glittery stuff. And I'm going to have a fingerprint in there, that's okay. I might be able to tap it off. Set it aside for a second, we'll put this away. got that everywhere. Get my little bug out here. Clean that up. All right. Now. Here we go. So you want to just kind of keep moving it around.
So you want to hit it till it just melts. And I don't know if you can see that it got sparkly. You see the sparkly in there? <laughs> Kathleen. See, uh, yeah, it comes out pretty cool, actually. But it, again, if you bought, emboss it too long, then it just melts. So you have to just kind of watch, wait for it to just briefly melt, and then move on to the next spot. So here's the piece of already printed paper that I did. And this is the one that I stamped from the... Um, Lisa's Local King rubber, rubber Stamp, and this is the, what's this one called? A Touch of Magic. So, pretty cool. Okay, there's that. And then I got uh, some Craft Hacky glue I've been buying, but I haven't gotten a golden bone. They just keep sending me these pins. Um, now I have two of them. And, but the cool free gift was this thing. And I love these things. I like to store like my mirror card stock or my hair warts um, vellum in there. So there's that. Now, let's get to the very, oh, you know what? I don't think I can show these to you guys yet. It's an embossing powder. It doesn't have mica in it. It's just, Distress Frosted Crystal. It's from Ranger. Uh, let's see. Frosted Crystal is an embossing medium designed to create a matte frosted texture on cardstock and coated surfaces. Use Frosted Crystal as an embossed foundation for watercoloring with Distress Crayons Ink Oxide. Oh yeah, that's right. You can color over it. That's Tim did demo that with the crayons. I can't show you guys these stamps yet. They're not officially out. Sorry. <laughs> so, anyways, I bought it because, you know, I had to. But tonight, we're going to do a card. And we're going to be using this little raven. And this is from A Colorful Life Designs. And, ew, I've got, hang on. I don't like that feeling that gritty feeling that's the only thing yeah much like glitter it should probably be done outside <laughs> or not on a um, silicone mat because it kind of sticks and I don't like the feel of it okay nice and smooth there we go and I'm not sure exactly what my plan is but I plan to use these this stencil and these two stencils, some watercolor card, and I'm gonna make it a shaker. So first of all, I'm thinking I need to make a foundation here for Bird to sit on. And I like that A Colorful Life gives you these masks because it kind of gives you kind of a, I don't know. Let me cut this down to size first. It lets you kind of do some placement. And uh, let's go. I'm gonna go for by five and a quarter. There we go. So now I can kind of picture in my mind what I'm thinking. And this is this is how I this is how I operate, folks. And I'm I'm almost thinking I want this to be kind of a chimney. I'm gonna have a moon back here. Okay, yep. So we'll start with the my moon masks. Let me get let me decide what size moon I want here. I want a pretty good size moon, I think. Again, this is this is my process. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab. Plain piece of cardstock. 
decide again where I want this. All right, about here. Let me cut myself a little stencil. Get it centered. Be right back. Okay, and then now I have to decide how I want to do the background. Because if I want to do like ink smushing, I should probably make a make a plastic mask. Be right back again. And this is just, um, you guys have seen me use it before. This is just, uh, uh, come on. The only thing about this stuff is it curls on you when you're trying to work with it. It's um, transfer tape. I knew I'd spit it out eventually. Do it the organic way with scissors, huh? So I started watching this new murder mystery called Clickbait. Oh my gosh, y'all. That thing is something. So I'm going to go ahead and get my moon down here. And I believe I'm going to use Simon Hurley. Over the Moon is my all-time favorite color of his. I just love this color. All right, let me grab a brush here. I'm just going to hold this down. And I'm going to go in with the brush. And it doesn't have to be perfect because, after all, the moon has some little divots and goodies in it. And I'll be using a lot of different mixes of ink here tonight. I didn't get it in the middle. That's okay. Doesn't have to be in the middle. All right, where's my little raven? Where'd you go, little raven? There you are. Actually better that it's not in the middle. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mask off this moon now. And I just peel this transfer tape apart well, when you're wherever you can. Oh, come on now. It's trying to come. It wants to fight me. How'd everybody's weekend go? Now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it on my shirt a few times. I don't want it too sticky. I don't want it pulling my paper. It usually won't, especially if you're putting it over ink, but I just like to be on the safe side. And there's hair. Come on out of there, hairs. Now I'm just gonna lay this right directly down right here. <laughs> There's a hair caught in there. Let's see if I can get that out. 
I just wash my hair and so whenever it's wet, it combs out a million, million rats. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna be making my chimney here. All right, little raven. You're going right here. Okay, I like my chimney right there. I'm just gonna kind of just tape it down. And mask it off, because I don't want to get, because I'm going to be putting some grit paste. I don't want to get grit paste on the rest of the card. I painted some cabinets today with some, um, chalk paint. I am a terrible painter. I, I should never have been allowed to do that. <laughs> okay. See if I can remember where I put it. Here it is. Not, and this is the, from the Halloween collection. That's Distress Glaze. Here we go. I'm going to do the grip, grip paste and crypt. And I'm not going to do it too thick, y'all, because I want it to dry. But I do want that little bit of dimension. I'm just going to use my little spatula here. I don't know what I think I'm doing. I want to use this stuff. I don't want to buy it and not use it. So, But it definitely gives you a good brick texture. being stingy but with it I just <laughs> again you can't dry this stuff you have to let it dry on its own can't heat set it heat dry it okay good and I'm just gonna pull up my stencil mask with it. That's okay. All right, we'll just let that dry there for a minute. Paper towels, where are you? Um, hmm. I lost a whole roll of paper towel or somebody came in here and stole them from me. Oh, they're there. <laughs> they can, that happens sometimes. But these are my Viva. You want paper kitchen towels, you gotta use the chief stuff downstairs. I'm reading chat if I got quiet. Okay. And let's go ahead and you know what, I'll most likely have a do over here and cut that out and give it some dimension. Because I don't like the way the moon was sitting there. So I'm gonna do my moon afterwards. Don't know how yet, but I'm going to. Let me put the mask on. I don't think there's gonna be any way around short of cutting out a new moon, which I could do that too. Now, if it doesn't work, that's what we'll do. And I wanna use, I'm gonna use the uh, black soot here. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna mix some black soot ink with some Where is that wilted violet? 
Always good, always good Halloween colors there. Let me get my little Ranger mixy mat. And I'm gonna do this mostly dry. You know, I, I mean, I'll get it wet, but you know what I mean. Let me get this brush out of the way here. And I'm gonna go in with black soot and the wilted violet. Uh, water. Because the black soot isn't, to me, isn't really black. It's kind of a blue. So here we go. Get ready to get inky, folks. Okay, we need more, way more black there. Go ahead and lay that in there. Yeah, nice and spooky. All right, let me just wipe this off and we'll give that a dry. Yeah, see, my mask is coming up a little bit. We'll see how that works out. more black soot, ink. Just tap, tap. Oh, yeah. Nice and Halloween-y. Is that a word? Storm, you guys get all the fun stuff. I think we'll go back in with some more purple. Ugh, I got one little piece of tape stuck to me. Okay. This gives that grit paste a chance to dry. Hopefully it'll dry in time. Who said weenie? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Don't be, don't, don't be saying that stuff on my channel, man. <laughs> How can you watch both, Gloria? I don't, I... I am um, in awe of anybody that can do that. My little brain just won't do that. Cause I, I, you know, I'd probably watch myself and somebody else too. Okay. Now let's see what happened. You know what? That kept pretty darn good, didn't it? I thought it did anyway. 
So now I can color in this moon, and since I'm working with mostly oxides, and I'm not going to, you know, dribble on here. I don't want it. I don't want dribbly bits today. I am going to trim though. And I just happen to remember I'm doing a shaker card, so I want to trim this to four and a quarter by five and a half. wondering how I'm going to get a shaker into all that mess. I have no clue. And I did manage to get some purple ink on my moon. No worries. I've got this little eraser here. It'll either take it off or it won't. It did. Okay, so now I need to get my moon down. Now I've changed my mind about this Simon Hurley though, because it's too, I need a lighter color, but not white. Why not? He's going to be black. That's why I didn't want the dark, the background too dark. I know what I'll do here. Put my mask back on and I'll do a little bit of blending just around the edge. Getting these on straight again is just tricky. Okay. And I am going to blend with some Versafine in the Monarch. Get my little blendy brush. I got these. I'm gonna set something right on top of my grit paste. I just know it. I do not need this here anymore. Just grab ink from here where I first started to ink off. All right, let's see what happens. This Monarch is probably my favorite in the Versifying colors. Well, I can't say that. I think they all are. better. It's still funky around the edge. I need to figure out something to do about that. Um, Alright, I have an idea. Okay, and this is my crazy process. It'll either work or it won't work. And we're going to take it either way. I'm going to find one of my little brushes here. I'm just going to shade in the edge of the moon. Sort of disguising all that little mistake I made there when it kind of leaked through. okay. Try and get a bit, a little bit of a lighter hand there. See, I take the brush and then I take this part and I 
blend out. A little bit, that mar uh, Monarch's still a little bit damp, so it's kind of cool because it's kind of spreading some purple into there. And then we're also getting a little bit of dimension to our full moon. Everybody stamp timber shopping? Antique land. No, I don't I don't think I want any yellows in here. I, I don't think I want any warm tone. Even though I mean that purple is debatable whether it's warm or not. And I'm okay with this just getting out all over the place. Giving this a an appearance of an actual moon. Instead of being pure white. I could have probably done this with my charcoal pencil too, but yeah. Yeah. We're getting a little a little funky there. It's okay. Looks like spooky clouds. Now I grabbed the wrong end. That's okay. The only thing, these are about good for about one use when then they start getting funky on you. I want it a little bit spookier right here. Do you, can you hear Mike's video? Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Let me just text him. Bear with me here a moment. Hey, Mac, are you there? Can you message Mike and ask him to turn his YouTube down? Thank you. My gosh, it's so loud. He likes to watch, like, people fighting and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't quite get what's the draw in that, but whatever. Yeah, it looks like a spooky moon. I'm good with it. All right. I don't think our grit paste is going to dry in time for me to color it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Let me just get my splat box. It'll either work or it won't. Whatever. If it doesn't work, we'll find something else for him to sit on. Okay, and I am going to go in with Crackling Campfire and can you guys see that? I'm sorry, everything's in the kind of in the way there. A little fossilized amber. That doesn't make a bit of difference. What I need is vintage photo. I'm glad I'm not using my Samsung phone because it just restarted itself. There we go. Now, I'll just set that aside and let it dry. All right. I have not, only thing I bought from Stamped Timber, only thing I plan on buying is something from um, Tim Holtz. Maybe, maybe another company, but so far I have enough flowers and I don't even do flowers hardly. So it just doesn't seem kind of worth spending the money to me. All right, so we're gonna have to do an imaginary ground here. And got to remember where my brick is, but I want most of him in the moon. Now, what ink to use? I'm going to use two inks. I'm going to use Twilight. Where are you? Where is Twilight? And black. 
and I'm going to do both in the Versafine. I'm going to start with the Twilight and give like the upper outside edge a really deep, deep blue. I really should tape that down. I can't trust myself. Yeah, I'm kind of a Tim Holtz gal, but I mean, I can do flowery and, and um, you know, classy and dainty and cutesy. I mean, after all, I do stamp for fairy stampers. But, um, yeah, when the bullet hits the bone, I am, I like the grunge. Where is my tape? <laughs> there it is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just tape this down just to be on the safe side here. And again, this stencil's from A Colorful Life Designs. Um, Tracy Schultz has a discount with them. And after the video, I'll put it in the description below. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, but 10% off. And I bought this one last year on a black cat too. Super cool, I love that black cat. Okay, now I feel more confident that I'm not gonna completely destroy this. And I'm just gonna start going in with this blue just along the edge. I do have twilight, don't I? Okay. It doesn't look twilighty. I want it real dark because I'm going to be blending black with it. But, you know, black is kind of blue when you see it on a shiny black bird. Oh, it's okay, Christine, if you're sick of rainbows. <laughs> I'm okay with rainbows. Um, I like fall. I love Christmas. But I'm doing Halloween cards because it's that time of year. <laughs> Where? Uh, okay, here we go. I've got my neutral blending brushes. Let me grab the one for black. Never been used. This is its maiden voyage. Here we go. Let me take this off of here. There we go. And coming in with the black. I just find myself trying to not do what everybody else is doing as far as my personal design. Okay. I really want that darker there. There we go. And then I'm going to go back with the blue. Okay, let's see what we get. Well, um, I know Carla, honestly, um, again, I don't tend to buy what's on trend unless it's Tim Holtz because I can't imagine anything I wouldn't like of his. Um, I do spend a bit at Ranger um, between Tim Holtz, Simon Hurley, everybody else at Ranger. That's okay if it's stained. All right, let's check on our bricks here. 
We're just gonna have to work with them wet, I think. I don't wanna keep you guys all night. Hey, I mean, I'm not mad. Let's cut it out. Yeah, remember the birds? <laughs> oh man, I was a kid when that came out. I kind of like this too. That kind of looks cool. Save that for another day. Yeah, I don't know if I... Nope, I don't like the bricks at all. Because I keep forgetting that this is going to be a shaker. So I just, all I need is just a, a surface here. Let's make it a... <clears throat> that doesn't really work. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with the Monarch. It'll be kind of a pretty monochromatic card, huh? Yeah. That works. <clears throat> Need a drink of water. <clears throat> All righty. Now let me just heat set this. not happy with right there at the tail and the reason for that is because I have that oxide underneath there. I'm just going to leave it though because I don't want to make a mess here at all. So I'm going to go ahead and make this moody around the edge and I'm just going to use my little brush and my Burst Fine Claire and um, Nocturne. And just darken up that edge. Let's try sticking your thing on the right pad, not the lid. And get some fingerprints on that moon, that's just fine. And more better. I mean, who ever heard of a scary shaker card? <laughs> I am going to show you my little hack though that I came up with to cut out those uh, sentiment strips. You know, when you need to make it really, really tiny. I made a little jig for that. Could have sworn I already did this side. I guess I didn't. Or I just completely missed. See, I'm getting spooky by a bird. And when it comes to scary stuff, here's the funny part. I'm the biggest chicken ever. <laughs> I only like to look at scary things. Like I love to make spiders and stuff, but I am honestly terrified of them. I'm terrified of bees. So it's kind of funny. It's like I, uh, I get to be brave on paper. <laughs> All right, now let's 
take a look at. So I pre-cut these frames and there are five of them for my shaker element. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on a piece of black cardstock. I didn't even do any of the other stencils or anything. I just completely spaced it. I don't think it needs them. I think it's just fine the way it is, but no, don't do it. Don't do it. Where is my glue? I like the sentiment strips too. And I was thinking I might foil one. Um, and it's going to go on the outside of the shaker. Now I'm going to put black glitter or maybe my purple mica flakes that I made a few weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, whenever Nancy and I did that live together. This is my reptile adhesive. I'm just going to lay it down here. And give it a little pressure. Hey, Donna. How are you? Hi, Chow. So, I mean, the moon mask, I have, I have one. It's by Spellbinders. I think I showed it in my last video or the video before that. Um, let me get it out here. And I don't know why I didn't think to use it, but it's got multiple layers and it's got directions on how to do it. Oh, I hope you can see that. So that's by Spellbinders. And it's a four by four, so the size comes out about the size I just did, a little bit bigger. So I could have used that, but I didn't. And that's okay. So I know that Tim has, Tim's is in two sizes. Um, so that could be handy. For sure. Alright, now, whilst I'm waiting for this to dry, I need to decide on some what's going in. Uh, is that glitter up there? No, it's not. Okay. Over here. Let's grab some blingy things. I don't have a lot of glitter. Um, that's that's pretty much the extent of my glitter. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. And I don't want to put a whole bunch of glitter in it because glitter just is funny. This is some heavier glitter. These were the ones I made with just some alcohol ink. And I did alcohol ink on the black mica. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. All right. You should be down. So let me get this prepared. And I need a piece of acetate. See, I've got this purple glitter. Maybe I don't like the purple. Hmm. It's not the right color of purple. I think I kind of like it just plain black. Well, let's consider that because I'll have to cut another black print. Ooh, you know what? I think I have one of my scraps.
Yes, I do. Yeah. So, let me go ahead and create the I have this. I'm getting low. I know I have a stack of hero art somewhere too, but I sure can't find it. It's a little bit bigger. I'm not going to use glue. I'm using tape. Let me get out the red tape. Oh, you know what? Nancy, Nancy sent me some score tape. I've never used the score brand, so let's see what happens with this. Heat resistant, blah, blah, blah. I've only used like the generic brand from Amazon and the red line. But I like that this is, this is a torture device. There we go. We don't necessarily celebrate Halloween here. Um, you know, Mike and I are old. We don't have any small children. Children don't come trick or treating. But when my kids were little, I used to love doing makeup. Like if I had if I had my life to live over again, I'd be one of those makeup artists like that does makeup for movies, horror movies and stuff like that. I just love that. I find it really, really fascinating how they can, you know, make prosthetics and things like that. Oh, sounds like fun. Well, I like how skinny this is. My other score, my red line tape is wider. It's a quarter inch, so you have to be really careful. <laughs> just burnish that down. What's a torture device? <laughs> hey, Diane. Yeah, I like the black better too. It's, it just, the purple was just the wrong shade of purple. Okay, what do we got here? All right. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the black glitter in here or not. We'll see. I figure it's going to get stuck in the sides. But let's go ahead and lay the acetate on here. Of course, I missed a little. That's okay. Because it's going to stick down to the... Let's try not to get any tracy hair in there. Trim this off. Okay, now put this black frame down on top of it. That cracked glass stuff is going to be so cool. I cannot wait to play with that. Tape. It works well. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> you know, long before I started doing this, I was watching videos and I saw a lot of people talking about this score tape stuff and I'm like, well, how is it different? What's different? I don't know. I, I still couldn't tell you, but I'm not mad. All right, let's get that burnished down. I'm just going to burnish with my fingers there. The trick's going to be getting this last frame on evenly. Okay. 
Well, maybe if it gets hair in it, it'll be spookier. Where is that? Okay, that's on the outside. <laughs> I will go crazy with that stupid one piece of hair. Okay, moment of truth, folks. Let's get this on here straight. Well, that's as straight as it's going to be because it's as straight as I can get it. Ugh, that's bad. That's really bad. That's, can't do anything about it now except for trim it off here. Not that easy to trim off either because it's five layers. It'll be all right. Part of the thing is this is one of the frames that I didn't do in the jig. It's a scrap frame, so it's not exactly the same size as the rest of the frames as far as evenness all around the sides. Ah, that's good. All right. Now, what? <sighs> Alrighty. All right, let's get some junk in there. You know what? Just to keep this from. Where's my. I don't want this to slide those embellishments everywhere, so I'm gonna. Keep it shut. There we go. So stay fairly flat. And these are honeybee. This is the black opal confetti mix. Love it. It's so pretty. But there's not a lot, you know, you can mix with black. Although I plan on doing several Christmas cards this year with black. Um, and in one form or another, get those in there, and I'm going to get some of these larger, yeah, I'm just nervous about putting this, this black glitter in, it is pretty, but nah, not, I'm not, not doing it. Let's go ahead and glue this down. I want to make sure I get my glue fairly close to the sides here. Ah, my glue is going to clog on me here. Where's my Gloria tool? There's that hair again. Where is that coming from? Good grief. Forget it. I'm just leaving it. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing in the way. I'm gonna aim. Ready, aim. Fire. Oh, don't you, don't you do it. Okay, good. Nice, okay. Lovely, 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 lovely. All right, now, here's what I've got. These are the little uh, Catherine, uh, Kathy Zilski sentiment strips from Simon Says Stamps, and they're the reverse. And I was thinking I might foil one Let's see, you make Halloween creepy. Well, this doesn't really fit, does it? I don't want ghoul. Let's see here, you're so cool, it's creepy. It's zombie season. <laughs> nah. Mm, which way to the candy? That doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, I like this one. 
What do you guys think? Yeah, I foiled some before, but I, I've had better luck foiling them one at a time versus trying to foil the whole thing. Okay, I've got spooky salutations. Let's stay inside, eat candy, and watch scary movies. Uh, let's see. A lot of these are too, just too big for this size. May the ghost be with you. No, no, no. Hey there, beautiful. Oh, okay, we could do a whole. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you know, picking these all up is never fun. But let me show you my little jig, and I'll just clean up my mess later. Where is my jig that I made? Where are you? So what I did was I measured. No, this isn't the one. This is the prototype. There's the one. So. These are just full, you know, full sticky notes. I measured a quarter inch and I folded one in half, so I'll show you. So I'm gonna take one and I'm going to grab my ruler. I'm gonna lay my ruler on here at a quarter inch. Okay. And I'm just gonna fold this up until this touches the ruler. And I want it straight so that I can line it up in the cutter. So then I do that one in half, done with that part. And then I want it longer, right? So that I can lay it against the side of my trimmer. So I take two of them. That one's empty. I had another, here we go. I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna lay this again on my ruler so that it's straight. Hope you guys can see. Let me get that out of the way a second. I should be heating up my mink while I'm doing this, but I'm not. And I'm just gonna lay this up against the ruler as well. And then I'm gonna put one on the other side. Kind of stick them together. And then to protect this for next usage, I'll just lay another one right on top of it. <laughs> and there's my little jig for cutting tiny sentiments. All right, guys, let's foil these. Um, I know that I have, a, and I've got such a mess here, I'm barely gonna have room to foil anything. Is this still plugged in? Now somebody scared me and now I keep these, um, I keep my mink unplugged. I've got, let's just make sure it's the right shade of purple. Oh, perfect. Okay. So this is deco foil, um, amethyst watercolor. And move this out of my way here a minute. I'm gonna foil both of those. Guys, I have such a mess. And sorry, I know the lights are going to flash. It's how it works here. <laughs> you should see what happens when I try to make a cup of coffee. Okay. Got my carrier transfer sheet. Let's get my dusty dusty. Let's just trim off a little piece of this foil. I think I can foil them both at the same time. And I probably get way more foil than I should, but I am an inexperienced foiler. And I'm afraid that I'd rather have too much than not enough. So let's get my sentiments here. Oh, oh, can you guys see what I'm doing here? I can't move my mink anymore. Lay these on here. Dusty, dusty. Dusty, dusty. 
kind of dusty, dusty. Try and lay that on there without wiggling too much. All right, here we go. Y'all, it's so hot in here. I'll use that brick for something else. Ready? Yeah, it's cooled off enough. Oh, it didn't work. What did I do wrong? See? <laughs> well, I'm not, don't like that one single bit. I dusty dustied. It just didn't foil enough or something. All right. Well, we're not foiling anymore. <laughs> we're just going to find a different one and leave it black. We'll go spooky salutations. Let me blacken up the edges. might have had a raven hat yeah she did no she had a movie <laughs> she had a movie <laughs> something about what was what was her movie <laughs> she was a raven in the movie oh my gosh i love that show okay i'm gonna get something to pop that up on Um, so, yeah, that's, that stuff's supposed to foil, uh-huh. So, um, I had the mink at three, and the last ones I tried to foil with that same setting foiled just fine. So, I don't know what happened there. I guess I'm going to have to practice with those. All right, folks, just about done here. I know we got stuff to do. I almost didn't come live tonight. I, my back has been hurting me. And uh, so I've been uncomfortable. And uh, do I want to do this at an angle? Uh, I think I'm gonna keep it nice and neat today. Oh. All right, there we go. There's our little Raven shaker card. Done with a Colorful Life stencil. And I don't know why they're sticking other than I probably have too many in here. But I don't care, I think it's cool when they stick. There they go, now they're moving. A Colorful Life and this stencil's name is I don't know. Raven, I guess. It's probably on here. 
Ravens. Yep. Ravens. I'm just reading this, reading the comments here. Yep, yeah, it's definitely that movie. The, yeah, the crows was, no, it was the crows or ravens. I don't know. I, whatever it was. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, look, I'm going to let you go because I need to turn on my air. I'm dying here. And um, maybe I'll see you on the next round of videos. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to thumbs up. And um, check Tracy Schultz. Um, she's got a 10% off coupon for the um, Raven. I, again, if I remember, I'll, you know, fix the description box and all that stuff after the video. Hope you guys have a good night. Um, Netflix. Netflix Shits Creek is. Yes, Diane. <laughs> no problem, you guys. Hey, have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.